and international ballerina Rowena Jackson returned to her roots today. The Southland-born ballet star was in Invercargill to open the new Rowena Jackson Retirement Village. A special gala day was held to celebrate the opening and, of course, Rowena Jackson was guest of honour. Deborah Webb went along to meet her. Rowena Jackson, New Zealand's best-known ballerina, was home amongst friends today for a special gala day to celebrate the opening of the Rowena Jackson Retirement Village. It was in Invercargill that she first put on her ballet shoes more than 60 years ago. It all began here, yes, and uh, I was quite little and I, I went in for competitions and I had a, a special talent for acrobatics and I think a lot of Invercargill people will probably remember those funny little contortions that I used to do. There were some anxious moments in those early days. I lost my two front teeth and I had to go on in the competitions and um, the dentist uh, made a, a little pair, tiny little pair of two front teeth and they stuck them in, you know, it's a wonder I didn't swallow them, but anyway. Places are still familiar. She took the chance to revisit some of them. Oh, I have wonderful sort of flashing memories of Invercargill because I was such a little girl when I left here, only just turned six. And I remember we lived in Alice Street and uh, Gray Street. I had the thrill of going through both those houses yesterday. And that... For Rowena, it's a great honour to have the village named after her. Well, I was just so honoured and I think it's a very great privilege. And uh, it's not very many people who have a building as, as beautiful as this, uh, let alone any building named after them. And uh, it's, it's a great thrill. And um, I'm um, delighted to think that even after I'm gone, this will, you know, the memory will still be going on. And, and, uh, and the chance to be back in Southland has been a bonus. Oh, lovely. Um, I'm never happier than when I come back to Invercargill. I think I've really got roots here. It's a coup for Invercargill. She's Southland born and proud of it. Now her name will be seen and remembered by all who visit the village. This is Deborah Webb for Mercury News.